Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna show you three new amazing features that'll make your next Microsoft Teams meeting even better. First, we're going to look at Stand Up, and this allows you to present in front of your content. Next, we're gonna look at new annotation tools that are available when you share a PowerPoint presentation. You now have access to things like a laser pointer, a pen, and lastly, we'll also look at how you can automatically transcribe your meeting. It'll even tell you who made which comment. So you no longer have to be the note taker. All right, let's open up Microsoft Teams and let's check these out. This brings us to the first new feature that's sure to make your next meeting even better. And this one is called Standout. To use this, first off, you need to ensure that your webcam is turned on. And right here, my webcam is currently on. So I'm ready to use this. Over to the right, I can click to share content. And right now at the top, there's something called presenter mode. Over on the left, I can share just the content. And this is probably the view that you're most used to. This is where the content is featured and then your image or the webcam is relegated off to the bottom corner of the screen. Here's a new option now called Standout. I'll select this one and this will allow me to present in front of the content. Now that I've selected this presenter mode, I'll select a window that I wanna share and let's go with the Kevin Cookie Company website. Whoa, and check this out. I'm now presenting in front of the content. Over here on the left-hand side, I can see my browser window and I'm currently sharing this. You can tell that by this red line or border that's around this window. And then over on the right-hand side, I have another window from Microsoft Teams and this shows me what all of my audience can see. So here I'm in front of the content. Now I could interact with this window, I could scroll through, and there you'll see all of the content moves behind me. And what's really neat is I could even point out things on my screen. For example, I've had so many people ask me, we wanna try your cookies at the Kevin Cookie Company. Well, all you have to do is go to this URL and then click on that order now button. Please click on the order now button now. You won't regret ordering, they are good cookies. This brings us to the second feature that's sure to make your next meeting even better. You can now use annotation tools while presenting directly in Microsoft Teams. To use this, let's click on the share content button in the top right hand corner. And if we scroll down a little bit, there's a section called PowerPoint Live. You can upload a brand new presentation or you could select an existing presentation. I'll select this existing presentation. This now opens up my presentation in PowerPoint Live, and I now have access to all of these different annotation tools. Here, for example, I now have a laser pointer so I could point different things out. I also have a pen. Let me write a K for Kevin. Here I have a highlighter and I also have an eraser, so maybe I wanna erase the K for Kevin. If I double click on any one of these tools, it gives me additional settings. So here I could choose the thickness and I could choose the color. And all of the different tools allow me to do this as well. With the eraser, when I double click on it, not only can I just erase individual elements on the screen, but I could just simply erase everything. This now brings us to the third feature that's sure to make your next meeting even better. Microsoft Teams can now take automatic notes on your behalf. So let's say maybe someone misses the meeting. Well, they could catch up on what happened by reading the notes. Or maybe you wanna check who agreed to that action item. You could also use the notes for that. To turn on a transcription of the meeting, up on top, click on the ellipsis for the more actions menu. This opens up a view and let's go all the way down and click on start transcription. This opens up a pane over on the side and it's now capturing everything that I'm saying. And not only is it capturing what I'm saying, but it also indicates who said it. So right here, I could see my name. This makes it really easy to keep track of notes during your meetings. To access the transcript of your meeting afterwards, simply go to your calendar view and then click on the meeting. Then over here, click into the chat view and right here, you'll see the meeting transcript. When you click into it, here you'll see a record of everything that was said in the meeting. All right, well, let me know down below in the comments, which new feature will you use in your next meeting? If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see future videos like this, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.